Hey guys, welcome back to 999 bonus schedule thingy. Yay, we're in a Frieza. <laughs> but I'm, it's good to be playing, honestly. You know, I'm just gonna tell you guys, don't tell uh, the Hidarashi viewers, but I actually haven't worked on <laughs> this whole week. I haven't worked on the theory sheet. I usually do that, I usually just take a week off and uh, that write the theory sheet because it usually doesn't take like too long, but uh. I like that extra week off. <laughs> don't tell them though. I don't know if they think I'm working on it all the time. They shouldn't because my theories will suck. But um, yeah, I know, nine nine nine, fun stuff. I think we played enough to um, at least I know what I expect from a session. Maybe some fun puzzling, some uh, some bonding with our teammates, and some weird facts that are like. Well, facts, weird theories and stuff that I didn't know about. So that's cool. Anyways, we're trapped in a freezer. Um, may or may not be. I mean, I guess... I, I mean, it's like a 90% chance it was just normal. 10% Lotus planned it, just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're technically freezing in here, but that's alright. <laughs> we tough it out, guys. Tough it out. Um, so we need to figure out... How to leave? There's only two ways, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's take the lay of the land. I think our last slash we did pretty good on the puzzles. There's some frozen meat up there. It looks like pork. Huh? What's this? It looks like a tag or something. Chunk of pork. Oh, yo, we have the knife. I guess we... Oh, what if we got in here without the knife? I feel like that would have been very unlikely. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe they gate it because you get stuck. Jumpy, is there a slip of paper in that meat? I think there's something written on here, but I can't read it like this. If you try to pull it out, it'll probably rip. You need to defrost that. Don't think we're going to be doing that in this room. Then we can, like, chop it. Well, can we, like, just to try? No. Okay. That's for later. I mean, that's probably what the grill is for. Everything's frozen in here. It doesn't look like there's anything else interesting. Shelves are covered with frozen... Oh, yeah. Take a good look. What's this? It's like a... Oh, it's a storage unit. Sturdy rope. It's a rope. Well, we could use it to attach something to something else, I suppose. Okay, there's so much stuff in here. Why don't we take some of it out, Jumpy? A water bottle. A water bottle. Yes, it is. Okay. There's anything else that looks useful? Sure. Okay, so we just have this stuff. Ooh. Dry ice. Dry ice? Can't you make that stuff cause an explosion if you seal it in something that's airtight? Explode? Yeah, didn't you do that in school? I didn't. You should never undress the power of its bending gas. I just know dried ice that's smoky or misty stuff. Ooh. Okay, we're you reading. Jinpei picked up the dry ice with his sleeves so as to avoid burning himself. Dry ice this is basic tech, but it's new tech for me, so that's cool. そうだな。だいたい何度くらいから期待になるんだろう。うん。さあ、そんなこと聞いてどうすんだよ。ああ、バーマーウェイアウト。ここから出るのに何か役に立つんじゃないかと思ってさ。There that's pretty. It's pretty uh, cold. Jinpei looked at her dumbfounded. Are you surprised? She's just a bastard of knowledge, like everyone else. <laughs> Well, her especially. Thank you. 
Honestly, I, I, I even regret uh, saying that you might be a weaker member to take on our team. You're very useful. <laughs> Sounded like some chia noises. <laughs> June jiggled and did her best to hide her guilt. At least she was still feeling good enough to joke around. Junpei told himself. What? Dry ice? It goes from gas to solid? Santa was now shivering at an astounding rate, but his curiosity seemed unaffected. Junpei. He wanted out of the freezer now. It did seem odd. Well, I'll be honest. We're not gonna freeze to death. I doubt it, right? That'd be kind of messed up. So, uh... Does it seem odd, though? Isn't that just a scientific thing? Does dry ice even become a liquid? Well, I wanna know the answer. I don't know, from my vision... All I've ever seen really dry ice for is, like, a... Like an attraction for food. Like I think the last time we seen it was when I was in Japan and we went for barbecue. It was like a bunch of meat in a pyramid and some dries to make it look epic. Like I've just seen it used to make food look epic. So I don't know. Let's uh let's ask the questions. We're not gonna die. Lotus would probably know the answer to this. And June might June answered, okay. <laughs> So do we have to turn it into a liquid to put it into the bottle and tie the rope around and like slam it on the door or something? Mm. Or just keep it a gas. Jesus. Obviously, they're are they're using a Celsius. You think? Maybe is it not Celsius? Yeah, no way. It can't be Celsius. Water is a liquid between thirty two. I thought it was. Okay, that makes it seem a little better. Cause that was like when it was like minus one oh nine. I'm like, that's really fucking cold. <laughs> but no, it is Fahrenheit. I guess it is an American translation. God damn it, I I have no idea how Fahrenheit works. I'm really bad at a uh, American units, except for height. Cause for some reason we we use feet to uh measure people. I mean, we don't, but, like, most people I know do in Canada. But that's about it. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is, like, 1 degree Celsius. And what what's boiling? Boiling's 100 degrees Celsius. So, like, that, maybe? I have no idea. June replied with an answer that sent both of them. Nineties. I don't know. I don't know how hot that is. Though I. Either way. それって三十六度でも凍っちまう水ってことか。ええ。逆に言うと三十六度になるまで溶けない氷とも言いますけど。Was my mic muted? I was just, like, coughing really hard. If it wasn't, then I'm sorry. Uh, water that freezes at 96 degrees. I said I won't melt until ni it's 96 degrees. Junpei was cold as hell, but this was too interesting to ignore. He did his best to warm up by rambling his arms and stamping his feet, and put the question to June. Hopefully I didn't, like loudly tough into your ear um yikes ice nine i mean is there a point of googling stuff i feel like most of the stuff i mean some of it's like 
conspiracy theories, but it's all like real stuff. Ice nine. No. Okay. Ha. That's really lucky. So I typed in ice nine in the search bar and it said puzzle. Like the top result was puzzle. So um. So that's uh. So we're not clicking that. The second result was like a sun. Okay. Also nine for the nine 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 stuff. Ice nine. Yeah, okay, we'll be careful with that. I mean, yeah. Hmm.最近、それが本当に存在することが発見されたらしくて。今で、待ってくれ。その it's not a clear picture for me, so I do know the difference. It changes, okay. Okay. So, yes, so this ice nine and water is the same su substance, but uh, the process makes it different. It's kind of weird though. Or, let's try to get. So they're both made of the same thing, but in different like circumstances, the structure and hardness will change for the ice nine. She wasn't finished. Actually, I, I sh I've heard the word. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <sighs> I am. I feel like I'm being exposed all through. Actually, not really. <laughs> Just most of the stuff, like like uh, June said, random knowledge, but this is definitely, uh, again, science stuff. I respect you scientists, but uh, it's not the life for me. Oh! Is this... Oh, wait, I think I've heard this story somewhere. Oh, no. Ah. Well, where was this? Yeah, I remember some, like, substance, like, was on a ship, and then, like, something happened, and then they dis then they discovered it was crist it changed into crystal or a hard substance that never happened before, and then they, like, found out how to make it. Oh, I do know. I heard that somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's from, like, another... Another story, some other literature, like they reference it. Um, but I don't remember what it was. But I, I do remember this story. There you go. Yeah. Man, what story was that from? It seems like such a... I mean, it was probably used as a metaphor or something. Which is, I mean, it's being used now, kind of. Or a comparison. But I, I can't think of the story. I just remembered it, so... That's cool. At least I recognize something. <笑><笑>この化粧を作るための各手なるものにとって、この各社であれば比較的容易に化粧を作ることが可能になるわ。というわけか、その特効を使ったグリセリンばかりか、容器に密閉しておいたはずのグリセリンの色が突如結晶化
never mind. I didn't I didn't search it lister and I searched Ice Nine, which probably was in reference to this game. That's so weird though. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna be a Tom and a Tom and phrase I say throughout this series. It's it's so weird. I don't get it. It's like it happened once, so now it's just a natural thing for it to happen. Yeah. I don't. I can't wrap my head around that at all. I'm sure it's been studied to death, and it, maybe there is a good answer, but I can't understand that at all. And I, I and I can picture it, right? So, the substance, no matter how cold it was before, it was always a liquid or whatever, whatever it is. I don't. I don't actually know what it is. Then one day this crystal thing happened, and now it's always a. Uh, now it always crystallizes at that temperature. I don't get how that works. It's almost like the substance itself, like, evolved to a new, uh, a new point, and once it evolved in one place, all the other substances evolved, but that, that sounds like hive mindy and stuff. It's probably, I mean, it probably is some sort of form of evolution, you would think, but I don't know. And then speculation from a person who's, uh, scientific knowledge only reaches to Canadian high school. I did do some uh, geology and geography in university. I don't. That's science, I think. At least geography. No, <laughs> at least uh, geology, scientific. I don't know about geography. Felt pretty scientific to me. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what it feels to me. It feels like a hive mind, but it's it's literally just a substance, so it's so weird. It's really fascinating. Huh. Oh, maybe it's maybe they have their own morphogenic field thingy. I don't know. <laughs> It really does feel like June could be <laughs> could be evil. I don't know, just because she knows all this weird stuff. And I know everyone else does too, but it's just... I don't know, dude. Why does everyone know this trivia stuff? Junpei. Honestly, was impressed, was kind of annoyed. Dude, I'm impressed. Why would I be annoyed? This is some fascinating stuff. I can understand Junpei. You are kind of freezing to death, so. And she's your, like, potential girlfriend, and you kind of like each other, so don't. Don't bully. I was honestly impressed. It was, in fact, a pretty interesting story. Yeah. Pretty interesting. To his surprise, it was Santa and not June who answered. Explain. Oh, maybe it's like a, a water reaction that happens at a certain temperature now? Or, or is it the same because it happened in a book? It, like, the book communicated or something? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Junpei felt that Santa might not be treating the idea of the end of the world with pro the proper concern. True. He was right. Junpei shivered. Yeah, it's good tact. Who knows? We might need that in our future puzzles. It's true. <laughs> Santa didn't grow up in Iceland, unless you're just punning the North Pole. Santa stomped off, clearly doing his best to pretend the cold wasn't affecting him. Still, Santa was right, and it was high time they got back to their search. Junpei 
Jinpei looked at Jun, nodded, and resumed his search of the room. Okay. So we're good in this area, right? Yeah, just some fishy- Oh! Frozen chicken, there you go. It's really hard, it's frozen stiff. Hey Jun, can you say that again? Eh? Say it again. It's really hard. Again. It's really hard. Th thanks. Something's wrong, Jinpei. Your face is bright red. Really? That's the joke? I thought he was actually trying to pun something different. <laughs> Nothing, it's fine. If it's that hard, you can probably use it as a hammer. Yeah, good point. Maybe you can use it to break something. Good one, Jinpei. I like, I like it. What about this? This looks so sus, but I guess you can't check it. Delayed. Okay, so this is just fully cleared, right? Okay, what's going on here? This scene is covering something. It's frozen solid. I can't flip it over. It's a thin pipe. What about this? There's water dripping from this pipe. Hmm. It looks like when the pipe burst, the water hit the doorknob and froze it in place. This water actually seems almost warm. Hmm. And the door itself. Hey, Jinpei. Didn't you find some dry ice earlier? Yeah. There's warm water coming out of that pipe. Warm water and dry ice. What do you think would happen if we put that stuff in a sealed container together? Good point. Touche. Let's uh, combine the dried ice and the water bottle if possible. Combine. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Do you have to melt it first? It's fine. Dry ice. Warm water. Yes. Or, oh wait, maybe you have to fill the water bottle up. It's probably a better idea. What? Am I crazy? Why? Oh, because it's froze. I'm so stupid. Okay, this is frozen. It's not dripping. So we need to break this pipe and then put water. I'm guessing with this frozen chicken. It's a thin pipe. Yeah, beat the shit out of it. I'm Brit. Beat the shit out of it. Let's... Start by putting the dry ice into the water bottle. But the dry ice is too big. Well, you gotta figure out a way to make it smaller then, don't you, you genius? Ah! I appreciate the tip, Santa, so... I think we can buy the dry ice with this and smash it a bit. There we go. Alright, the dry ice is all in pieces now. Dry ice crumbled. Thank you, Santa. I appreciate the tips. I can be narrow-minded sometimes and when searching, as you might have seen in this game already. So we'll try our best, though. In-game tips makes you feel much better than looking at a water. I'm gonna... I wasn't going to, but, like, in general, I think. I'm gonna put these pieces of dry ice into the water bottle. Okay, water bottle with dry ice. New tat. It doesn't work, though, right? Because it's frozen. Wait, I have a rope. It's warm water. Yes. Maybe we cut this? Just no way. Okay, how do I... What's, what's next, Santa? Not yet, Junpei. We're not gonna get the result we want unless you can hook the bottle onto a doorknob or somehow. It's got to explode right next to the ice on the doorknob. We need to figure out a way to attach the bottle to the doorknob. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder if we can actually do this without getting the Santa tips. Probably. But we do this. And let's just tie the rope here. Okay. <clears throat> do this. Here we go. Should be good. I guess you couldn't because it's giving us a... Tets cutscene. Warm water drip from the ruptured pipe near the door. See, I thought that wasn't... I guess it's just not animated. Made sense. I thought that was just frozen. <laughs> We're gonna have to jump out of the way. Okay, 
should we holla at a Lotus to tell her just to get out of the way just in case? We don't know how big the explosion is at us. Oh god. Dude. Yeah. Dude, there's so much frozen meat. Junpei looked down at the floor. Slattered across for pieces of dry light it's left over. Isn't this a terrible idea? Isn't this trying to cause such a chain reaction? He trusts surely. He pulled his sleeve down over his hand to keep from getting burned and rammed the trunk of dry ice. Are you sure? I mean, I, again, I don't know. I just thought it would like make a bigger explosion. <clears throat> it was a pretty good side, about as big as a pool ball. Yeah, get as far back as you can. Well, Santa and June looked at him with new concern. Just get back. Jimpei pulled open the door to the small cellar. True. Santa and June nodded and jumped down into the hole. Jimpei quickly followed. In his hand, he could feel the chill of the frozen carbon dioxide even through his sleeve. He tightened his grip, took aim, and prepared to throw. Yeah, why are you counting up? <laughs> that was funny. No, that wasn't the saddest excuse. That, that taught me. I love that. <laughs> It'd be funny if they just hit you with a freaking screamer, a loud ass distorted boom, but you know they won't. <laughs> Prepare yourself! Boom. And Jinpei threw the chunk of dry ice as hard as he could. With the same motion, he ducked down into the cellar of Santa June, just as... Boom. Junpei leapt up f out of the cellar and ran to the door. We did it! Yay. <laughs> Junpei grabbed the knob and pushed and with all his with all his might. The door gave way easily and all three of them tumbled out of the freezer at once. He survived. June relieved collapsed onto the floor. Santa shoved past Junpei and ran straight to the drill, which he immediately grabbed. <laughs> He proceeded to hit the drill in a futile but amusing fit of rage. She dipped. It took Junpei only a matter of moment to find her. She was sitting on the counter idly scratching her chest. Thanks for the concern. With a great yawn, Lotus lowered herself off the count off of the counter. Junpei clenched his teeth and walked toward her. Being a little selfish, but I won't hate her for it. <laughs> sure? Are you sure? She's very good at deflecting. Yep, good point. 
でしょできる限りのことはやったの何か扉をこじ開けられそうなものはないかって探したりもしたんだけどなかったの I wonder if that's true though <laughs> だったらもう待つしかないでしょそれとも何119番に電話でもかけてればよかったのかしら It was true that there wasn't much she could have done, but something about her tone. I think that's just her. Compared to Riddita's teeth. Friendship ended with Lotus feels bad. Yeah. It's definitely a lingering question. It's a possibility. Or it was Santa, dude. Or because he's the one who initiated the freaking talk about Ice Nine. This man, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should suss him so much, but he literally initiates so much stuff. It's insane to me. I don't know, dude. So sus. It seemed that an accident was the only explanation for the door's closure. Bruh. Santa, dude. How does he do it? Could just be his personality, but it's actually insane. I feel like almost every important、uh, bits of. Did he initiate the f- painting? I think that was Junpei who asked the question. But, like, he did. <laughs> He's always like starting something, like, and it's really low key, so you might not catch it. I didn't even catch it until I thought about it a bit. Oh, she didn't do anything. I kind of agree, but won't pull any, all the sus off her yet. Junpei swallowed his anger and did his best to apologize. Lotus led the way and twirled her hair between her fingertips. His vengeance against the drill complete Santa swayed back towards June and Lope. I can't say Lopez. <laughs> Lotus. Hey, Yasmijikan, a corridorida. I was just thinking, I checked if we missed anything in the freezer. Why would we have missed anything? We searched that whole damn place, we put our lives on the line, man. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think I need to go back there. Well, we, there's a frozen, uh. frozen blanket. But I guess, I don't know, we can't pull it out yet. So we did, we did come back with some new tech. Specifically, a chunk of pork with a note on it. Imagine if that's the passcode and the plates were just a weird guess. s t r i p the pork. Guess I'll put this meat on the grill. Get a nice little sizzle. Hey, what are you doing? What are you going to do if the paper burns? Come on, it'll be fine. I mean, it's not like it's going to burn right away, right? We just gotta keep an eye on it and the paper will be fine. Well, they can argue all they want. I'm trying to keep an eye on this pork. Good one. Cool, looks like it's about time. I'm gonna try taking the paper out. Jimpy, be careful. Sweats. Sweet of her to care, but I know what I'm. Ouch! See? I told you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. This thing's frozen stiff, I can't get it out. So, are we gonna have to cut the meat? Yeah, let's do it that way. Lucky for you, I have a handy dandy knife. Alright, now I've sharpened the knife. Yes, I cut the pork. 
Awesome, Junpei. Now we can cut out the paper. C10 plus F. Ooh, do I remember my hexadecimals? So C would be 12, 10 would be 16, and F would be 15, right? Right? 12, 16, which is 8, uh, 28, plus 15, 43. Or I guess you just enter the whole code. Guess we need to uh, look at the pork out. Do you think there's some kind of code? Damn it, they're just screwing around. Junpei, do you know what CNF stands for? Pretty sure it's 1215, correct me if I'm wrong. You think it maybe means corporate finance? Good one, buddy. I thought it was clever and funny. Yeah, I like the memes. Okay. Wonder if we manually do this now. This is probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe if we put in the right numbers, it'll open the oven door. Junpei, maybe the note you found earlier. Yeah, I know. Do you know how to enter those numbers? I think E is for enter and C is for clearing. So basically, when I'm ready to submit my answer, I press E. So if I screw up, I just press C, right? Lotus nodded. All right, let's give it a shot. Well, let's just see um, if I was right. So 12, 16, what? 24, or uh, 15. Um, it is just uh, addition. Okay, so 12 plus 15, or er, 16, <coughs> is 28, right? I know, basic math. Um, plus 15 is 38, 42, right? Let's clear this. We're bricks. Huh? This is weird. Hey, you're just punching in random numbers, aren't you? Maybe if you just enter it like it said in the hint. Ah, uh, shut up. Just shut up. I think I'm not doing it right. We need a refresher on our hexadecimals. So C is 12, 10 is 16, and F is 15. Am I just messing up the... Oh, wait, is it... Is it both plus? Yeah, okay, it is both plus. Okay. Let's just make sure. So C is 12. F is 15. That's 27. 27 plus 16 is... 37... Plus 6 is... Oh, it's 43. Cringe. Yikes. I... Am I right? <sighs> ah, basic math. The killer. Remember when I said, uh... Stuff about basic math? Now that I failed to math... Well, not failed, but, uh... Took two tries for two basic math stuff. Sounds like metal is falling. Well, I guess that went well. Okay. It's a tea tired baby. Yes, the door is open. <clears throat> Good job, Jumpy. Don't worry. You just give me some time. You know, math isn't the strong suit, but give me some time and I will solve it. Saturn key card. Nice. I wonder if we can multi-use this for other Saturn doors. Hopefully. Permanent tech. Alright, let's get out of here. Kitchen, you are fun. I like how the plates were just, uh... It's not even a bait, I guess. It was just, uh... Telling you that hexadecimals were important. Yes, I think it's unlocked now. You did it, Jumpy. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. Ooh. Kit should have brought some pork to munch on, but that's okay. Gah, Puzzle God does it again. Remember? Well, we probably won't remember. Probably won't remember uh, 
the Fran bow time. That was my that was my all time low in puzzles, dude. I felt so defeated. It's not like AO anywhere. I was just giving up really easy just because I wanted to. Like get it over with. With Fran bow, I was legitimately trying to solve and find all the items because it's a it's a point and click game if you didn't know i just could not do it it just it was just killing my brain and it honestly i love the game it's one of it's probably like my third favorite horror game we played so far on this channel but it did make me feel a bit stupid at least my ego has been pretty much boosted from the cat lady and to be fair this too though it does it does make me feel like i need to uh Read up more on some miscellaneous stuff, but that's alright. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, of course we were here before Junpei. It's just the other side. I met our great stretch from wall to wall. Beyond it were two elevators and the entrance to the kitchen. <laughs> Guys, come on. We we literally knew this. Why are you making this weird? Yes. Okay, I mean, at least we're getting confirmation on the map, even though I kind of trusted it. It's always good to get a 100% confirmed. Or is that a bait and it's not a 100% confirmed? No, I think it is. Just putting some doubt in the mind. What's our next move? It's true. Checking the flowchart? Dude, we're about to meet up with the gang or something. Or. Oh, maybe we're not. Maybe this is like a final puzzle. But it does seem like we're gonna meet with them because it connects. Then we get to the branching stuff, dude. Six endings, one secret ending. I'm saying, bro. Secret ending first try. It's probably not even possible, but wouldn't it be funny if we just got all the decisions right and we hit the secret ending, which is right here, I bet. I believe it. <laughs> no, I don't, but... Thread the needle, as they say. Four. Okay, we're here. This is the wall, so this was the kitchen. So we can go right, elevators which probably don't work, or left, or in this room, or in this room, okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. So A goes this way, B goes down. I doubt these elevators work, unless it's not elevators. Oh, they both entered through the same building. Oh shit. <clears throat> I don't know what the layout of doors are <laughs> layout of doors layout of, of ship is so I can't really guess what kind of room this is. Oh, well, maybe it's like a dining or ballroom. It is very close to the kitchen, though I don't know how close they usually are. I it would just seem pretty close to like, keep the food like warm. Okay, they're locked. Good tech. Hmm.例のナンバリングドアゴの扉の方か。What?じゃあ、別れた他の四人はこの通路の先？Oh, did they get here first? But that doesn't make sense. Or did they? I'm confused. So they entered here, so they were here before us. But did they just never go to the kitchen? I don't know. They're probably, yeah, uh, they're probably somewhere a ways away. Hmm, okay. Ah, wait, really? I actually don't remember that. So they opened it. And I guess they couldn't get into the kitchen because it's locked from the other side. Made sense? Hmm. 
Huh. I wonder if they, uh... I wonder if they pointed that out. Because I don't remember that. Mm. One way, D. All four looked at the map. They all looked like the staircase. Looked at the staircase. It's lazy curve leading down deeper into the ship. Yes, yes, D. They dropped down the stairs until they reached the sea deck. Hmm. Should probably just be keyboard clicking this. Hmm. The water gazed back at them, its smooth surface like a great mirror. ゆいつの救いだな。そうね。そんじゃ、とりあえず what is that, the sun symbol? Oh. All I and the only symbol I remember is Saturn, because it looks very distinct. The gender symbol, the male gender symbol is Mars. The Earth is like uh, the craters, you can see them on a circle. I forgot, what, we saw the sun, but I forgot what it was, I think. Mm, that's a new one. It's probably a... Uh, I'm gonna guess Venus? I don't know. <laughs> Lotus is symbol. Huh? <laughs> we used to have a grudge on her, I guess. It's a pretty good job, though. <laughs> Lotus had taken a hold of Jumpei's hair. She began to shake him violently, and he thought he heard a low growl coming from her throat. No. It's a compliment, devilish woman. Well, I just said it literally isn't a compliment, but... <laughs> such violence. Jinpei began, Jinpei began to wonder if she was not the devil itself. With an uncomfortable smile, June spoke up. Mercury. Damn it. I thought it was Venus. I don't know. I just think Venus as a goddess of love, so femininity. Mercury is a planet? No, I'm joking. Hon honestly, I haven't, I haven't even thought of the other planets in our solar system besides Mars, since that's being brought up so much in literally, like, since high school. I swear. But yes, Mercury is a planet. Is it? I don't know. It is. Oh. Oh, man. It's really been a while, huh? Is Pluto still not a planet anymore? That was... Dude, I was... I was a kid when Pluto was... Taken away. They took away its planet... Status. It was a devastating day for any Pluto fans out there. Low key, low key, Pluto is one of my favorite planets. Then after that day, I had to choose a new favorite. I don't know, I like cheering for the small guys. Okay, sorry. That was pretty lame. Ah, this game brings the lameness out in me, which I kind of love. Okay, new key card search. Dude, I'm a key card search master. I wonder where they went, though. Oh, Jesus. Slotted doors. They weren't sure how many, but certainly enough to be discouraging. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. 
good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. To the right was a small hallway. Quickly they headed into it. Oh, that's a bit more reasonable. It was approximately the same size as that alcove in front of the stairs. The hallway led towards the stern and its end was a set of double doors. Yeah. Four rooms. It's reasonable. Gotta up the ante. Yes. Junpei nodded and grabbed one of the, the one closet closest to him. He gave it a small touch and felt it move. Thrilled to have found an unlocked door, he threw it open. Ooh. Junpei didn't know what to make of what he saw. Oh, it's a new set. Beds. Oh, three, seven, eight. Damn, that. Oh. I mean, I guess that made sense with the flowchart. The three paths. Two lead the same, but one is by itself, huh? Oh, no. That, that feels like it's gonna be the bummy path. <laughs> That's not gonna be a good ending, I feel, just because of how short it is. So we're probably going to come back here later. He simply stood unable to speak. You know what? Nah. We'll, we'll continue a bit. I kind of want to stop once we hit a puzzle room. But we'll see. The other simply stared open-mouthed. After a few long moments, Santa managed to speak. Lots of beds. A massive room stretched out in front of them, more a cavern than a room. Its vastness was oppressive, and it bore down on the four companions. It was not empty, however, the entire room was filled with lines upon lines of beds. They were simple things, little more than pipe and thin mattresses. Those are mattresses? Barely. Yeah, he, he had at last been able to put a name on the harsh scent that pervaded the room. Pervaded. Pervaded the room. <laughs> the, you don't like the hospital scent? I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't mind the smell of medicine, though. 2B8. TBH. Through them were emblazoned with large single digit numbers made with thick red paint. So we're five, so we can't even enter the three door, I just realized. So that's a no door. I wonder how that leads to another path then. So seven, we can either go with, let me just, so seven, we can only go with two, which is our boy Snake. And eight, we can go with two, three. Or not two three two one, which is snake and ace. Let's try. Yeah, I guess you have to, cause you need at least three people, right? So how the heck do you enter door number three? Isn't that like li literally impossible? But seven, I guess you can make your own. But with eight, I think the only can't we only enter eight? Cause we have five. Wait, do we have five? Yeah, we have five. So we can only go with Snake and Ace to follow the rules. I actually forgot the rules, Loki. I wish they had them in your files. You'd think they would. You'd think they would have the rules in your files, but they don't. <laughs> well, if we're, we'll be... I'm sure we'll have a nice long discussion with the Dane later about it. But yeah, how do you, how do you enter three? It's actually impossible. That means it, it can't be... Uh, a three people minimum. It has to be two. So that has to be eight. But that doesn't make sense. Unless we can come back. 
Because we need... Well, we don't. Oh no, we can just go with three. Who oh, that's three? Oh, it's Santa? Ew. Dude, don't pair me with Santa again. Maybe, maybe I should just pair with him because I feel like he's the most likely mastermind, so... Keep your enemies close. This would have to be just with Snake, and the last one we'd have to be with uh, both Snake and. Or we can go with Santa, or. Oh, but no, because 3 needs its own. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. Hopefully, they'll re explain it. That means we can't go with Lotus or. um. Lotus and June, which is sad, because I like them both a lot. <laughs> ah, I think. Probably for the stray dwellers. I don't know if everyone can even enter a numbering door. It's the pleb door. Should we wait for the day end? Oh, I guess we can open it and not enter, because that wouldn't activate the bomb. Take a nice little sneak peek. Jinpei headed towards the doors and weaving his way between the beds. Bob and Weed. He's str Bob and Weed. Bob and Weeb. Weeb? Weave. Oh, God. It's 2 a.m. Give me a little break. <laughs> he started with the door 3 on the left and moved towards right until he reached the door in 8. Ooh. Even the one with no paint is locked. That's interesting. I thought that was going to be a pleb door. True, 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 true. I wonder if uh, if the other group grabbed the ninth man's uh, wrist thingy and if it works. I feel like that might have been a choice. Oh. Oh, wait. Hmm. I don't. Oh, inactive, right? Or vacant. Oh, then maybe uh, the lads cleared it. Who's on the other team? They can't fit, though. They have seven. Oh, wait, no, you just need... Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, people are probably, like, facepalming. You have to get the prime number. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, dude. Ah, oh, it's so late. I forgot. It's not just adding the numbers. You need the root. The root, the root, the root, the root. Ah. Oh. Yes, save, save your typing. Don't worry, I taught it myself. Okay, that changes everything, though. So you just need a 12 for the three door. Which would, uh... Which we can get with, uh... Lotus? No. Lotus is 13. Uh, you need 7. or so. I, It doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure they cleared 8. Man, that's so embarrassing. Dude, if they had the rules, I would have remembered though. Just saying. It's been a while since we've encountered numbered doors. Ah, oh, man. Hmm. Oh, is it just not registering? Interesting. So maybe it is. Maybe they, once you clear it, you can't re-enter it as a different group. Made sense. All four took, places, took turns placing their hands over the red, but it refused to respond. They pulled out the lever and it still did nothing. Or maybe you need the full squad in here before you can enter this place. As they soon discovered, it was only the red for the word. Okay, so I think you do need all alive participants. 
It made sense because you'd screw some other people. Yeah, if you entered early. Hmm. Well, the good news is we can go with the... I, I don't know. Should we just stick with our crew? It's an interesting question because you definitely want to play the field a bit and get to know everyone just in case at the last second you have to make some decisions. But at the same time, it's like... I really trust... Oh, I mean, maybe it's an overstatement and we don't know anyone else, so like maybe that's just foolish. But I, I on the low, trust... Uh, Lotus. I think she's a little sketch, but not uh, not too bad. And June. I think June is fine, but also a little sketch. It's not enough sketch to make me actually worry while Santa is. <laughs> so maybe we can trim... If we can trim Santa for someone else, that would be perfect. I think I'm right about why this isn't working, by the way. やったりだ。ぶっ壊れてんだよ。ゼロのやろうのメンテナンス不足だな。そんなバカな。ありえないわ。ここまで用意周到に準備してきたゼロがこんな初歩的な。I would really suck. Yo, I think that's the the squad coming back. But you know what? We're gonna end it there. I think this was a good sesh. Freezer stuff. Pro progress. And next episode, we might be creating a new squad. So we'll see. We'll see how much we'll spice it up. Like I said, I wouldn't mind having Lotus June. But what does that make? Just by herself. So me plus Lotus. That's uh, 14, right? Yes, 14 plus June is plus 6. So that's 2. So if you add Ace, we can do three, the third door. If you add for seven, we need five. Who's five? Oh wait, we're five. So you need like that combination. But again, I guess every other person needs their own team too. So it's probably gonna be it's not going to be as much possibilities as we're theory crafting right now. Let's let this save up. Yeah, I mean, this went well. Fun puzzle. Like I said, we did learn a uh, new new theory, new information that's weird but fascinating. Um, and fun. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus upload. And then next week you should get a minimum of three. Um... Maybe I'll even throw more. I took like two days off. Maybe I won't. But to be honest, even if I didn't take those days off, I might just upload rants since I'm kind of getting into the final echelon of that series, which is great. Not in a bad way. Rants is definitely a great game. Well... I think it's a great game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, little, little slip up at the end. Um, but, uh, it's, it's, it's the, it's the price you pay for recording late at night. You know, I could record in the morning, but you'd hear, like, the TV. And I think it'd be a less pleasurable experience than a little bit, you know, than nighttime where I'm a little bit lower, lower energy. But, um. Yeah, next time, meeting back with the crew, see any new tech they got, share some information, and create a new team. Good stuff. But yeah, see you guys then. Bye!